This is your University of Eastern Philippines. This is the University of Eastern Philippines, the first state university of the Visayas. Image of a constantly changing environment, beaming with life, cuddled by a lumbering stretch of white beach, of dense forest, green fields and lovely meadows. The UEP seal. Its seal symbolizes the many dreams visions and aspirations of its pioneers and leaders who have laid the cornerstone of its solid foundation. Blue and gold colors. The university colors symbolizing the lofty ideals of the institution and the golden dreams of the youth. Wheel. Symbolizes the unending search for knowledge. Sun's Eighth Race. Indicates Region 8 or Eastern Visayas, the immediate service area of the university. Lamp symbolizes the light that education brings. The words instruction, research, extension, and production refer to the quadruple functions of the university. The years 1918. The establishment of the institution as a Katarman Farm School which later became the Katarman Agricultural High School. 1956 The establishment of the Samar Institute of Technology and the abolition of CAHS on June 14, 1956. 1964 the conversion of SIT into the University of Eastern Philippines on June 20, 1964. Its leaders In September 1918, Attorney Clodualdo Lucero, then Governor of Samar, sought the establishment of the Katarman Farm School with its first principal Washington A. Wyron of Maine State College, USA, and Dr. Felipe O. Sivalios from Bicol was the first Filipino principal. From being the CFS, it was named the Katarman Agricultural School when its status was raised Insular Provincial. Through the efforts of Representative Pedro K. Mendiola of Katarman, it became the Katarman Agricultural High School. In 1951, Representative Agrippino Escarial of Bubon and Lawang had it changed to Katarman National Agricultural High School. On June 24, 1956, then Congressman Eladio T. Balite of Bubon took the initiative of converting CNAHS to the Summer Institute of Technology through RA 1434. Lieutenant Colonel Emeterio A. Asinas was the first and only president of the institute. The RAB or Rosales Asinas Balite Amphitheater, UEP Center for Culture and Pageantry, remains the hallmark of his term. With President Asinas retirement in March 1963, Professor Toribio G. Sorio of Bubon became the officer in charge after January 1966 when UEP's first president, Dr. Narciso N. Pepito of Cebu, assumed office. In 1976, when Dr. Pepito retired, Attorney Sergio B. Helera Sr. became the OIC. With him, graduate school opened and the course BSCD was first offered. In 1978, Dr. Aurora Balite Merida of Bubon, Northern Samar was appointed president. When her term ended, the CBA Dean, Dr. Gerardo C. Delorino, was designated as OIC. The third university president, Dr. Andres F. Celestino. His term was fruitful though short-lived. Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Leonor A. Onsoto, 
took over the helm of UEP. She finished the projects that the slain president left. On November 24, 1990, Dr. Pedro D. Destura, an SIT alumnus, was appointed as the fourth university president. His almost 17-year term is characterized by UEP's turning into a comprehensive university. For four months, when the air was rife with conjectures as to who would be the next president, Dr. Milagros S. Esparago of Sorsogon City, a Region 5 CHED education specialist, was designated by CHED to oversee the school's operation from February to June 2007. From 2007 to 2015, UEP was headed by a lawyer, Dr. Mar P. De Asis of Katubig, Northern Samar. With him leading the way, new curricular programs have been offered, enrollment increased, and the graduates' performance in the licensure examinations were consistently above the national passing percentage and the number landing in the top 10. All program offerings of the university have been accredited by the accrediting agency of chartered colleges and universities in the Philippines, Incorporated. With Dr. Diaz's term ending in July 2015, UEP was entrusted to its then Vice President for Administration, Dr. Baltazar G. Martires. He was designated as OIC to the office of the President while a committee was in search for a new UEP President. In August 2015, an alumnus of the UEP Agricultural Engineering Program, Engineer Dr. Rolando A. De Lorino of Catarman, Northern Samar, dreams of making the university an academically competitive, research and development focused, and economically sustainable public higher institution. During his term, a scrupulous examination of the university's fourfold mandate has been done by Dr. De Lorino to make sure that each function is given equal priority. Then, Dr. Baltazar G. Martires was designated as OIC to the office of the President, Dr. Cherry Ibanez Ultra, the seventh UEP President on Administration, Human Resources. The UEP system maintains a faculty complement of 439, 230 non teaching staff. 125 part-time employees, 64 casual, and 333 job order. On production With the aim of widening its reach in order to better help more people in the community, UEP has devised ways to become an economically sustainable public higher institution. UEP's partnership with external stakeholders paved way to fatten up the income of the university which bulk part and proceeds go to fund students' scholarship and wages and incentives of some of its non-regular personnel. On Research The proposal of a one-faculty, one-research policy was well embraced by the UEP community which evidence is an increased number of research proposals and completed researches, presented not only in the RDE in-house review, but as well as in national and international conferences, thus making UEP known not only in the Philippines, but also in the world. On extension, local partnership with external services, the university is actively involved in provincial, regional, and national research, development, and extension activities, even as it seeks to improve the lives of those in the areas it serves. Along the way, it has earned national and regional awards. There are high-impact projects in environment, water, and land farming productivity, literacy, gender awareness, small-scale business, and capital generation. Global Interchange International linkages are maintained with the JICA, the University of Veterinary and Animal Sciences in Pakistan, the Rakunogakuen University in Japan, the French NGO Center for Edu Mekong Foundation, and the Fundacion Gramin Filipinas, among others. 
Among the current cross-cultural linkage is with the Catholic University of Daegu, South Korea, with some of their students enroll in a cultural immersion and language training in UEP. On instruction, UEP offers 52 undergraduate programs and 30 graduate programs and 4 under the Expanded Tertiary Education Equivalency and Accreditation Program with offerings in the Laboratory Elementary School and Laboratory High School and the Senior High School. These offerings housed in the different colleges of the UEP main campus and external campuses. College of Agriculture, Fisheries and Natural Resources College of Arts and Communication College of Business Administration College of Education College of Engineering College of Nursing and Allied Health Sciences College of Veterinary Medicine College of Law and the Graduate Studies and the Pedro Rebadulia Memorial Campus and the UEP Laoang Campus On Accreditation As part of the current administration's effort to ensure the quality of education, it has submitted its curricular programs for accreditation to the Accrediting Agency of Chartered Colleges and Universities of the Philippines, Incorporated. With the two curricular programs awarded as Center of Development, College of Science as COD in Environmental Studies, and College of Arts and Communication as COD in Literature. And in December 2016, Commission on Higher Education has counted UEP in as one of the top performing schools in the region. On Students UEP is serving some 14,000 students coming from the different parts of Samar, Leyte, and the nearby towns of Bicol and Masbate. To support high-quality learning, UEP adopts a pro-student scholarship scheme to accommodate more number of poor but deserving students. An average of 1,800 students graduate from the different programs, the bulk coming from the three largest colleges, the Colleges of Arts and Communication, Education, and Business Administration. UEP's performance in the bar and board examinations has always been above the national passing percentage with some landing among the top 10 places. The University of Eastern Philippines envisions to become a globally competitive university producing top-caliber graduates in pursuit of higher economic welfare of the people and the community through inclusion and cooperation from the stakeholders. Its mission is to offer academic programs and services based on the social needs of the community, changing industry needs imbued with core values of honor and excellence. Its goal is to continuously explore better opportunities to enhance instruction, research, extension and production through linkages that will maximize resources for both government and non-government institutions. UEP's development objectives are to expand the human resource development by providing necessary learning and development to all faculty and staff to enrich student development through enhancing academic programs to develop research development and extension programs toward poverty reduction through food security environment livelihood and employment to rationalize the university's financial expenditures to improve the physical resources necessary and available to support the university fulfill its programs, projects, and activities, and to improve the efficiency and effectiveness of administrative systems and accountability for performance. The university officials, 
Dr. Cherry I. Ultra, University President, Dr. Ronaldo A. Amit, Vice President for Academic Affairs, Mr. Brian V. Navarosa, Vice President for Administration and Finance, Dr. Karina Milagro C. Lim, Vice President for Research and Extension, Dr. Nelia M. Adora, Vice President for External Affairs, Dr. Ronato S. Valiado, Director, UEP Laoam Campus. Dr. Rico D. Diasis, Director, UEP Katubig Campus. Dr. Ronely C. Salvador, Officer in Charge, College of Agriculture, Fisheries and Natural Resources. Dr. Maria Alfe G. Banawis, Dean, College of Arts and Communication. Dr. Pia Mare El Abdani, Officer in Charge, College of Business Administration. Dr. Maria Teresa C. Torres, Officer in Charge, College of Education. Dr. Vinamin D. Varela, Dean, College of Engineering. Attorney Daryl N. Basiloy, Officer in Charge, College of Law. Professor Mary Day E. Florano, Dean, College of Nursing and Allied Health Sciences. Dr. Celeste J. Chan, Officer in Charge, College of Science. Dr. Aurelia B. Gahutos, Officer in Charge, College of Veterinary Medicine. Dr. Virginia G. Balano, Officer in Charge, Graduate Studies. Dr. Josephine D. Tan, Officer in Charge, Office of Student Affairs. Dr. Leonila A. Lungko, Director for Instruction. Dr. Tito M. Kabili, Officer in Charge, Research Office. Professor Rowena O. Punzalan, Officer in Charge, Office of Extension. Dr. Rogelio A. Banagbanag, Officer in Charge, Office of Admission. Mr. Arnold Pirap Singh, University Registrar. Professor Miriam B. Hirai, Officer in Charge, UEP Laboratory Elementary School. Dr. Fe C. Andarino, Officer in Charge, UEP Laboratory High School. Dr. Marlo D. Alvarez, UEP Senior High School Coordinator. Dr. Baltasar G. Martires, Chief Administrative Officer. Dr. Nilson O. Sanchez, Officer in Charge, Human Resource Management Office. Dr. Abe E. Villarino, Financial Management Officer. Ms. Mary Grace E. Espeno, Officer in Charge, Accounting Office. Mr. Ferdinand A. Reyes, Budget Officer. Ms. Leda L. Costillas, Head, Cashier's Office. Mrs. Lyra G. Merida, Records Officer. Mrs. Ana T. Lagrimas, Head, Supply Office. Mrs. Edna S. Villarino, Head, Property Office. Professor Eunice L. Hughes, Officer in Charge, Auxiliary Services and Business Affairs. Mrs. Cristita C. Abuyo, Disbursing Officer. Dr. Josephine D. Adriatico, Officer in Charge, Quality Assurance Unit. Dr. Marilyn E. Virano, Director, Cultural Affairs. Professor Dick U. Season, Director for Sports. Mr. Johnny S. Marino, Director, NSTP. Ms. Emily S. Adora, Officer in Charge, Intellectual Property Office. Ms. Ruth L. Froilan, University Librarian. Professor Liana Melissa E. De La Rosa, Director, Center for Summer Studies and Museum Curator. Dr. Blena O. Perez, Focal Person for Gender and Development. Dr. Elizabeth L. Dubonco, Director, Medical and Dental Services. Ms. Melissa Celeste C. Bonsol, Head, University Testing Center. Mr. Luis U. Daclag, Officer in Charge, University Guidance Office. Mr. Kim D. Marquita, Chief Security Officer. Engineer Konstantin F. Merida, Head, General Services Unit. Engineer Michelle M. Galiega, Head, Machinery Department. Engineer Danilo D. Antico, 
Head Electrical Services Unit, Mr. Romualdo L. Ipe, Faculty Regent, Ms. Serian C. Balikon, Student Regent. To our dear freshmen, faculty, and staff of this university, ladies and gentlemen, it is with pride and honor that I welcome our freshmen to this university. Take this moment as an opportunity for personal growth and an avenue to discover your strengths and weaknesses. It is with excitement that I extend my warmest congratulations to everyone. Your entrance to this university mark another milestone in your life and may you create colorful memories during your entire stay in this academy. May you start your journey with utmost zeal and commitment in embracing your passion for learning. At times, the road to success will be challenging and your story in this university will surely create an indelible imprint to your soul and heart. The administration is always willing to do its best to provide you the appropriate tools and strategies for your development. It is one of the goals of this university to produce graduates who are not only academically excellent but morally competent. And then third, I encourage everyone to be mindful of the importance of time. Exert more efforts and hard work. Learn to accept mistakes. Make your imperfections be your gauge to pursue excellence. Be courageous and be tough in this world full of complications and inconsistencies. Follow your heart. Chase for your dreams. Do not be anxious when life becomes so challenging. Instead, be bold enough to fight for aspirations. At times, you may be called to do your best due to disappointments and unrealized expectations, thus restricting your potentials to flourish. However, take this as a piece of advice. Life is boring without setbacks. Just imagine a mountaineer. The aspirations of every mountaineer is to see the innate beauty of the world from the peak of the mountains. It brings in depth happiness to his soul. However, before he could reach the peak, he has to traverse those craggy, dangerous, and rocky paths, and he would usually get wounded in the process. He has to perspire and sometimes cry caused by exhaustion for the efforts and hard work exerted. But as you can notice, a mountaineer doesn't easily give up. He has the heart of a lion. The seeds of aspirations remain intact. Despite the hardships along the way, and despite the existence of a precipice in his journey, he would courageously go up to enable him to achieve his dreams, to see and discover the breathtaking view of nature from above. The same goes with your journey. It takes enough courage and passion to reach your dreams. Learn to perspire, sacrifice, aspire, and inspire. In this way, you can see the best view of success in life. May you enjoy your stay in our beloved university and be the next line of real life winners. Thank you so much and God bless. Music